Hey Stampers, this is Sherry Roth with StampedTreasures.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada, and I am excited to be here today to share this beautiful card with you. Uh, so the card uses this bundle from the 2018 holiday Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. It's called the Beautiful Blizzard Bundle, and it comes with this stamp set that has some great greetings in it and some great background images and then the cute little snowflakes as well and then this incredibly versatile framelit. Uh, so not only does this cut 17 snowflakes in a variety of sizes and shapes, um, but there are many other things that you can do with it today. So I'm gonna show you one of those things right now when we create this background. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper and I like using the grid paper and I've got a piece of white that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna use some washi tape and just tape the very top and bottom so that my cardstock doesn't move on me. And then what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut a template. So I used this framelit, passed it through my Big Shot, um, and it cut out all these great fresh fig snowflakes, 17 of them. Um, but then I kept the negative space and I'm using it as a template. So you can see it's fresh fig on this side, but you can see that I've used it many times here. So what I'm gonna do is just center this so you can see that the grid paper comes in handy. And then I'm going to use some more washi tape to tape the template down so it doesn't move. And then I've got some Coastal Cabana ink and my sponge brayer. So I'm going to brayer my background. So now when you use a brayer, you don't want to ink just like this because then you're inking just a portion of the brayer. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you pick it up and roll it all the way so that you ink the whole thing. And then I'm just going to roll it back and forth and just keep adding ink until it's as dark as I would like it to be. And you don't need to push very hard. If your ink pad is well inked, the ink will just go on nicely. Get a little bit darker. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. So we'll set that aside and we'll peel back the template and look at that. You get this beautiful background image. You can peel back the washi tape. So we're gonna use that for the background of our card. Get rid of that. So our card base is a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock, and it measures four inches, I don't have my bone folder here, measures, uh, sorry, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and scored at four and a quarter. I'm just, you can see that the first time I started filming this video, I didn't have my base taped down, and the washi tape that I had was so well used that it moved. So this, it looks like you, I've been drinking. It, it moved and it just gave a blurry image. So I just flipped it over and started filming again. All right, so, oh, I thought there for a minute I was putting adhesive on the wrong side. Okay, so this is gonna go in the center of my card base. And then we're gonna create our focal point. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock, just a scrap piece. And I'm going to use the greeting that says snowflakes are unique in their own beautiful way. Just ink it up with Coastal Cabana and stamp right on there. And it's a good thing we're cutting it out because it's upside down. And then I'm gonna use the, I believe it's the second largest stitched shape circle I'm gonna pull in my big shot. And we'll run that through. I love the stitched shapes. 
um, you get four, four different sizes of circles, four different sizes of squares, and four different sizes of ovals. They're probably my most used framelit set. So you can use them. I love that you get a variety of shapes and then even just a few sizes of those shapes as well. But sometimes it's a little tight. There we go. So we'll just pop that out. And then we are going to add just a little bit of adhesive in behind this side and this side. And I'm going to take some silver twine. And there are several different ways that you can do this. Um, I find I'll just twirl a few around my fingers and then fit the end in and just kind of play around with the positioning. And then I'll move it down. Let's see where, yeah, I'm okay with that. And then I'll move it over to this one and just repeat it. So just kind of go around a few times. And moving it so that some are bigger, some are smaller. I'm happy with that. So we'll trim the end here. And then this is going to be put on using dimensionals, which I just had. Here they are. So we'll pop three of those on there and then pop this on the card front. This will go right on like that. And then we're gonna take some snowflakes. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out some of those snowflakes using that same framelit that we used as a background, except this time I used it as a framelit, how it's intended to be used. And I cut out a snowflake in Coastal Cabana and then a couple little ones in white. So we're gonna use mini glue dots to stick this on. And we'll put this guy right here. And we'll put a white one down here. On my sample card, I used all white. So, and these little ones were cut from shimmery white cardstock. They look so pretty cut from the shimmery white cardstock. This guy up here and then we'll use some rhinestones which just grab here and paper piercer and we'll put a rhinestone in the center of each little snowflake actually let's put a big one in that one There we go, so now our card front is done. And um, I didn't cut a piece for the inside, but for the inside, all I did was I stamped the rest of this greeting, so it's, and, and you are extraordinary, on a piece of Whisper White cardstock and put that in there. But what I did think would be really cool is to use that same technique, that stencil, and to put it on, um, envelope flap. So I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock or scrap paper, put this down, and then use my stencil. Let's see, will it work? It's a little bit bigger. Hmm, let's try it. We're going to, we'll tape that on there like that. We're going to experiment here. I haven't tried this yet. And then I will just carefully, being careful not to go off the edge of this cardstock. I'm just gonna add some ink to these snowflakes so that we have a pretty coordinating envelope flap. Okay, and then if we lift it up, look how pretty that is! So awesome! So now we are going to strategically position this. We don't want any overlap. We'll do it about like that. 
and we'll see if it's seamless. Oops, gotta be careful not to go over that edge there. Okay, and look at that. So now we've got this beautiful flap to coordinate it with our envelope. Isn't that awesome? It's so fun to be able to um, make your envelopes coordinate, whether you put DSP on the envelope flap or stamp some images on the front of the envelope. It's nice to be able to make it coordinate. All right, so thanks so much for watching. If you're looking for more, more inspiration, feel free to um, click subs subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, but you can also visit me on my blog at stampedtreasures.com. Um, and I will link all of the supplies in the comments below. If you're Canadian and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love for you to shop online from me. All right, thanks so much for watching.